You are listening to Sacred Heart of Jesus Radio, a ministry of the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Hello everyone and welcome to today's morning prayer. We begin by saying in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we thank you for watching over us last night and for bringing us safely to this day. Sacred Heart of Jesus, you are worthy of all thanks and praise. Have mercy on us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we offer this day to you. Fill our hearts with humbleness, compassion, mercifulness, and love. O sacred heart, O Lord. May all hearts be united to your sacred heart. Grant that we may be transformed into your image, O living bread from heaven. Lord Jesus Christ, meek and humble you died on the cross for us, yet aware of your great sacrifice, we have continued to sin against you. Your sacred heart has shown us perfection. You have given us all your love, but we have not loved you with a whole heart. We have not followed your example. When your sacred heart invited us to love our neighbors and our enemies as we love ourselves, we turned and walked away. When you gave us the opportunity to be merciful and forgive those who have hurt us, we often closed O hearts, instead, we prostrate ourselves before your throne and implore that you forgive our sins. Purify our hearts so that we may perfectly and worthily love and magnify your sacred heart. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we do always and everywhere give you thanks and praise, for you are holy, holy, holy Lord. You are indeed the fountain of all goodness. We thank you for the immeasurable stream of mercy that pours out freely from you, our adorable heart. We rejoice at knowing that your forgiveness and compassion are constantly manifested in our life because of your unending grace. Let all who acknowledge your King of Kings praise you and thank you day and night. We now take this moment to bring to mind the needs of the Christian Church. We especially pray for our persecuted brothers and sisters who suffer at the hands of those who hate Jesus. We pray, Lord, that you send your Holy Spirit to descend upon them and fill their hearts with a great joy. And fill their hearts with hope, faith, courage, contentment. And more importantly, with a great love. A love so great that they will be able to love even those who persecute them. And we pray, Lord, for those who persecute your people. That you touch their hearts. That their eyes may be open. And that they may become your followers. And Lord, we also pray for our bishops, especially Archbishop Ross and Bishop Hampton. We pray for all the apostles, priests, missionaries, deacons, religious, and all people. And Heavenly Father, we pray for Rebecca, who has a chemistry test this coming Friday. Lord, she's doing everything she can within her ability to learn this material. She's putting out a full effort. She's a very dedicated, she's a very uh, hardworking young lady who has not just dreams, she has goals and she's doing everything within her ability to achieve those goals. She's willing to sweat and pay the price to achieve. 
But we also know, Jesus, we know that you have all power and that you are indeed the one capable of gifting us to do the things that we do. And so we come before you and we prostrate before you and pray and beg you to please help Rebecca out, to supernaturally gift her with the ability to understand chemistry in such a way that she can understand the questions on the test and answer the questions correctly. We pray that you will help her with her other classes. She will do really well in, in school. And that she will stay focused and motivated and relaxed. And Heavenly Father, we pray for Christine, who's having a test tomorrow. It's a big test. She needs to do really well on it. And she needs your help. She also calls for you to, to supernaturally gift her with the ability to know the answers to this test. She has studied and she will continue to study until the last drop. As you know, she's dedicated and motivated. All she needs now is your help to complete the test, to be able to perform in a way that it will reflect the hard work and dedication that she is putting into studying for this class and for all her classes. And Lord, we pray for Evelyn. Bless her with the ability to advocate for herself, to speak up for herself in a way that is not confrontational or unprofessional, but rather in a very professional way. Also grant her the ability to tolerate people more. And bless her, her work, her career, her business. She's trying to get her own practice going. And she needs your help with that. We also pray, Heavenly Father, for those who are sick. Especially those suffering from cancer lupus, multiple sclerosis, autoimmune diseases, mental health problems, drug addiction, or any other form of addiction. We pray for the homeless, the poor, the unemployed, and the oppressed. And Jesus, we pray for an end to domestic violence, an end to the abuse of women and children, and an end to abortion. We also bring to you, Lord, the special intentions for the order of the sacred hearts of Jesus. Lord, we pray that when we come together for prayer, we may pray in the Spirit at all times, in every prayer and supplication. Merciful Father, without your Holy Spirit, we are nothing but emptiness and confusion. Let us be filled with the Holy Spirit, so that we may be inspired to pray according to your will and purpose. Gracious Father, as you fill us with your Holy Spirit, let the manifestation of the Spirit be given to us. Grant us a message of knowledge. Grant us a message of wisdom. Increase our faith. Bless us with the gifts of healing. Give us miraculous powers. Give us the gift of prophecy. The gift of distinguishing between spirits. The gift of speaking in different kinds of tongues. And the gift of interpretation of tongues all according to your will. And for the glory of your holy name. Lord Christ, in your mercy, you have called us to serve you. We pray that you will guide us and inspire us by the Holy Spirit, so that when we speak, a message may be given to us to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel. Heavenly Father, we live in a time when the world attempts to contaminate every aspect of our life. 
with contradictions to your word. Help us to be strong in you, God, and to rely on your power. Put your armor on us, God, so that we may be able to stand against the tricks of the devil. Christ Jesus, many refuse to hear your holy message and are being deceived by the enemy. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. We pray according to your will to, that you send out workers into your harvest field that are open hearing your gospel. Many will repent, be baptized, and be saved by your lending grace. King of Peace, as you ask, whom shall I send to proclaim your message of salvation into the world? Here am I, sent me. Look kindly upon your servants gathered here today and use each of us according to your gifts as ambassadors of your holy message here in our cities and around the world. Lord God, Heavenly King, revive us and we will call on your name. Restore us, O Lord God Almighty. Make your face shine upon us that we may be saved. Bring a revival to each one of us that from all revival many will come to hear and accept the good news of salvation. And now as the Lord Jesus Christ has taught us, we are bold to sing. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, to you I consecrate and offer up my person and my life, my actions, trials, and sufferings, that my entire being may henceforth only be employed in loving, honoring, and glorifying you. This is my irrevocable will to belong entirely to you and to do all for your love, renouncing with my whole heart all that can displease you. I take you, O sacred heart, for the sole object of my love, the protection of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my frail frailty and inconstancy, the reparation for all the defects of my life, and my secure refuge at the hour of my death. I pray that you, your most merciful heart, be my justification before God, your Father, and scream me from his anger, which I have so justly merited. I fear all for my own weakness and malice, but placing my entire confidence in you, O heart of love, I hope all from your infinite goodness, annihilate in me all that can displease or resist you, imprint in me your pure love, so deeply in my heart that I may never forget you or be separated from you. I beg you through your infinite goodness. Grant that my name be engraved upon your heart, for in this I place all my happiness and all my glory to live and to die as one of your devoted servants. Amen. This concludes today's morning prayer. I'm glad you were able to tune in and pray with us today. I hope you'll be able to join us later on today when we do uh, afternoon and then evening prayer. To find out more about our ministry, visit us at Sacred hearts jesus.org that is sacred hearts jesus.org you have a wonderful rest of the day and i'll see you later